Welcome to the USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum. My name is Dale, and I am a docent tour guide on this ship. I'm also a former naval aviator. The tour today is going to be covering the catapults that we have aboard this ship. We have two catapults. They're, both are about 180 feet long. Now on the port cat, is an F-4 Phantom jet used during Vietnam. It was too big to ever take off of this. But I'm going to point out some of the things is tied in with the catapult to make it go. There is a unit about this big called the shuttle. The shuttle is tied in to some cable networks underneath the flight deck. These are the cables that are attached to the airplane down onto the shuttle and back up. Our catapults are hydraulically driven. A hydraulic fluid with uh, gas behind it. High pressure air. Anyhow, in about two seconds, once it's fired, the plane could be going about 120 miles an hour. It's going to depend upon the weight of the plane and the size of the engines, naturally. Behind the jet, you'll see this barrier up into here. That is a jet blast barrier. It prevents any of the big jet blasts coming from the plane on the catapult. And it, what it's doing is protecting anybody, planes or people, behind that from those two immense uh, jet engines you have right there. Once the cat catapult shoots the plane off, this thing lowers down and the next plane in line will taxi across this in the down position, get onto the catapult, and this thing is raised up. Now out on the deck, just a little bit in front of the plane, the catapult officer will stand there and he'll give you this signal here to warm up so you're going full power. And they have already taken the tension off so that the cables, the pull cable and the holdback cable are really taut. If you were ready to be catapulted, you would salute the catapult officer and then you would hang on for dear life. You would have your left hand on the throttle. It had a, a rod that came up to where it could anchor. And you had your hand on the stick with your elbow into the, uh, your belly so that you wouldn't be uh, moving the stick or the throttle upon the uh, catapult shot. Once you have saluted the catapult officer after he's doing that, and he points down like that. People in the catwalks press a button. It sends information down to the catapults to fire it off. And whew, I'm going to walk around over there. And you will see the cable that is holding the plane back and not letting it go forward until the catapult officer fires it off. This is the cable. Now, when the plane is ready to go, both this cable and the other cable would be very taut. They would take the slack up. That's it. 